So if Mr. Garner isn't going to college, chalk that one up to experience. We know what we need to do moving forward. So, you know, all that's going through my head in, you know, five seconds as I'm looking at this number and deciding whether or not I should answer the call. So I pick up the phone um, and, you know, Garner says to me, hey, Mr. King, what's up? I was like, you know, not much. What's up with you? Oh, I just was calling to you know, tell you, you know, I made up my mind about that college thing. I said, yeah, yeah, I know. Um, what's up? He goes, I just have a question for you. I said, sure, what's the, uh, what's the question? He said, uh, will you give me a ride to Northern Illinois University? Classes start on Monday and I don't wanna miss a single one. I drove to his house, this was Friday. I drove to his house on Sunday with you know, a, a, a thing of you know, hefty garbage bags and we went into his house, you know, no luggage. We went into his house and put all of his stuff in these garbage bags and took you know, my truck and we drove from his home in a housing project on the far south side of Chicago to his future and to college together. And you know what else we had in that car, in that truck? We had his shield. We had that shield that was gonna protect him. The big question is how do we know that what we're doing at Urban Prep or at any of our schools really works? How do we know that a school culture based on responsibility and respect and rituals and relationships will result in students having the swords and shields they need to achieve? How do we know that everything that makes urban prep, urban prep, all the things that make our wonderful, special, unique, new schools great, it's not the fact that we have these huge numbers of students who are graduating or high numbers of college acceptance. Those aren't the things that make us know we're successful. It's Mr. Branch and Mr. Ponder and Mr. Gardner and all the students that you look at each and every day, they're the ones that convince us that what we're doing is the right thing. They're the ones that convince us that we have to keep doing what we're doing. It is their lives that we're changing. It's their futures that we are creating. And we together are giving them a chance to live in a world where it's no longer a big deal for a black boy to go and get a college degree. We're creating a world in which every black boy, every child who wants to go to college, quite simply does. When children lose their shields, we must help them find them. When children misuse their shield, we must teach them the right way to use that shield. When children break their shield, we must help them repair that shield. And most important, we must remember our responsibility, each and every one of us, to make sure that children have the swords and shields they need to conquer the world in the first place. Thank you very much. <laughs>